Let's look up on AD8318, a logarithmic detector, and we're going to use it as an RSSI power meter, Receive Signal Strength Indicator. This is a unit right here. And to hook this up, all we do is we take the output here, this pin over here, and we tie that into an in analog input on the, uh, the Nano. And from the Nano, I tied it into a uh, LCD screen, the small screen here. Now, this is the perf board I put it on, and this happens to be the back side of the board. I just do that so I don't get confused when I'm wiring it up. You could use an OLED display or just use the uh, monitor on your computer to, uh, you know, without an LCD display. Now, what these units do is they, they put out an, uh, a logarithmic voltage from about 0.4 volts to uh, 2 volts. Now, we've got to convert that to uh, a dBm. So, in order to do that, we have uh, this graph here. Now, we're going to use a slope intercept method, an algebraic uh, form. And the um, you can find the, uh, the slope. There's a formula up here for finding the slope and a formula to find the, the intercept here. Once you know this, this, the intercept and the slope, you can use this formula down here. Therefore, your power in is going to be equal to the, uh, the, the voltage out divided by the slope plus the intercept. Now, you know, we don't have to do the math here. In the spec sheet here on page uh, 3, they've done it for you here. This happens to be uh, for a 900 megahertz uh, frequency. Each frequency is a little different. Here, the slope is going to be, uh, say, between minus uh, 26 and minus 23. I picked minus 25. And the intercept is uh, going to be, uh, I picked 22 here. Now, this is in millivolts, so I have to, you have to put 0 0.024. And this is uh, in uh, dBm, so it's 0 0.022. So if you add these two together, so it'll, it'll come up to uh, 0 0.045 or, there about, or 0 0.047. And if you divide that into 1, so you add those together, divide that into 1, so you had 1 volt here. It would come out to about uh, 22, 21, uh, uh, minus 21 dBm, okay? So that's all we're doing to uh, to convert our our uh, logarithmic uh, voltage into uh, into dBm on here, okay? Now, uh, the way I did it here, we're not, uh, I did it for 900 megahertz. I'm actually going to put in 400 megahertz. Uh, it's not calibrated, uh, but if you wanted to calibrate your own, you can do that with, uh, well, they, they tell you how to calibrate it here. Now, for the, um, as far as the Arduino goes, we just take the analog read, okay, and then we take the, the uh, I call that, I get a value there, and I take that uh, times 5 volts divided by uh, uh, 1023, and it gives us our, our voltage that we're putting into the uh, analog pin zero there. Now, this we could have changed this to, uh, maybe this should be better off to from, uh, uh, you know, uh, zero to three volts or something, but I just pick five. Uh, so then we take our, our V out, it's gonna be equal to the, uh, the voltage here. In fact, I'm gonna change this to a, a dBm, and that's gonna be equal to our voltage divided by the uh, slope, plus the intercept, it's a minus slope plus the intercept here. And uh, then what I did here is if the value was less than one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the, the, uh, the dBm zero. Otherwise, uh, you'll just, you'll get some erroneous uh, numbers in here. So then I just set the cursor here the, and I print out the, uh, the uh, it says VL, but I'm gonna change that to, to dBm, right? Okay. So that's that's all we have to do with the um, that's pretty much basic code there. You know, for an LCD, you'll have to put in the uh, uh, library and everything else for that. But uh, now, if it's zero dBm, that's about 0 0.001 watts. Minus 10 dBm is 0 0.0001 uh, watt. And you can see up to 60 dBm what these uh, what these wattages are. Now. Most transceivers or, or receivers, they'll, they're sensitive down to, say, minus 100 dBm or minus 110 dBm. And this thing only goes to about minus 60 dBm. So 
uh, it's not not too useful that way because I've done a lot of um, sites where I've had uh, minus 70 dBm at the at the receiving site or minus 80 dBm at the site, and I've still got uh, a good uh, good signal as long as you're above the uh, background noise. So 60 is kind of limited. In fact, at uh, 900 megahertz, it doesn't even go up to 60. It goes up to 58 minus 58 dBm, something like that. So I'm going to turn the unit on here, so we get our RSSI and we get a reading there. Frequency mode. So I'm going to try the uh, my radio here. Okay, what do I got here? 50 minus 16, 17, 15, 13, 19 minus 19. So uh, it's working. It's uh, of course it's not calibrated. I'm the thing set for approximately 90 900 megahertz I'm using 400 megahertz the antenna is a 400 megahertz antenna but it kind of gives you a uh, a basic uh, reading I can kind of test some antennas with it but uh, that's uh, you know uh, this RSSR R RSSI meter uh, the AD 8318 and pretty simple to set up and all you have to know is this uh, this power in is going to equal to the, the V out divided by the slope plus the intercept. And they give you the slope and intercept, so you're all set. And you can measure this V out with your, your voltmeter. So that's, uh, that's the logarithmic detector there. Thank you.